New developments tonight on the sentencing of Eve Nance. You remember Nance was found guilty of killing her husband back in 2013. Today, a Fond du Lac County judge sentenced her to life in prison for the murder and hiding her husband's body. NBC 26's Eric Kress is live in the Green Bay newsroom with more details from the sentencing. Eric? Today, prosecutors asked for no possibility of parole ever for Nance. They argued the crime was no accident and Timothy Nance was executed in cold blood. But today, some friends and family think Eve Nance was given a sentence with the hope for a future. At the Fond du Lac Courthouse, Eve Nance had a lot of support in her corner today. I mean, I feel she should have been punished for what she did. I don't feel in any means that it was okay. Though many here were torn between what justice would mean for a woman facing life and the man she killed. Just being friends with both of them, you know, like... I don't even know. Prosecutors asked that the option for eventual parole be taken off the table. We felt that a life recommendation without the possibility of extended supervision would be appropriate. But the judge ruled in 25 years, Nance can make her case to the courts to possibly be released under supervision. She'll have to petition uh, the court for that release. It's not uh, a given that she would be released after she serves that sentence. I think even 25, I think it's, I don't know, I just think it's a lot. The judge did say Nance's credibility was suspect. She killed and then hit her husband's body, lying to family and authorities along the way. But her previous criminal record was clean. You know, multiple years of going through things that sometimes maybe a person just snaps. The judge also said this could have been the ultimate result of a life of both physical and mental abuse for the couple. Now, Eve Nance will be 62 years old when she is able to file that petition to be released from jail and put under probation. Keeping you connected, I'm Eric Kress with NBC 26.